right, good afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. You know what time it is on Texas Live and Local. Time to see if there is any trouble brewing in the tropics. Of course, we've made it past that critical peak of our hurricane season, which by the way was September 10th. And it's actually been unusually quiet in the Atlantic Basin, of course, consisting of the Gulf, the Caribbean, and the Atlantic Ocean. In fact, we haven't had any named storms in almost three weeks until today. So the tropics are springing back to life and we now have tropical storm Gabrielle plus two other areas of concern that could potentially turn into tropical systems over the next week. So I hope you enjoyed the lull because we're back in action now. Although at this point it appears that the models are keeping tropical storm Gabrielle far away from Texas, but we are going to have to monitor those other two areas, those other two tropical waves that are rolling off the coast of Africa still thousands of miles away, but they could make it all the way across the Atlantic and potentially pose some issues. So we are going to be watching things closely. All right, let's talk about where we've been so far this season. We started off with Tropical Storm Andrea. We've made it all the way to Tropical Storm Gabrielle as of today. And in between, we did have one of those tropical storms blow up to become a major hurricane. That was Aaron. Thank goodness it was not a direct landfall for the U.S., but of course it brushed by and caused some big waves and a little rain and wind. But now we're waiting to see if we're going to get Umberto or Imelda over the next week or two. It is definitely possible with a few other tropical waves brewing out there. But before we get to that, we've got to talk about our newly formed tropical storm Gabrielle. Here it is kind of looking elongated, not looking that impressive or well put together at this point. In fact, the National Hurricane Center as of the latest advisory saying the center of this thing has kind of formed farther to the north than previously forecast. So that may actually change the track of it. But you can see it swirling here and and it is in the central Atlantic at this point, generally tracking off to the west northwest. All right, so up until now, we've had a decent amount of dust kind of getting sucked up into the system. That's been keeping it kind of on the weaker side, but I do think it will start to escape some of that dust as we go over the next few days, and it will be allowed to strengthen into a hurricane. You can see another big batch of that thick, dry, dusty air coming off of the west coast of Africa. Of course, that dry air stable things out there and kind of hinders tropical development but I do think a lot of that dust will kind of start to thin out and we could start to see more action out there in the tropics over the next few weeks as we roll into October. All right, as far as Tropical Storm Gabrielle is concerned, latest advisory has strengthened it a little bit. Winds up to 50 miles per hour now, pressure at 1,005 millibars, and generally moving to the northwest around 14 miles per hour. So it remains a tropical storm out over open waters, not affecting anyone for the next few days. Then as we get into the weekend, as it gets closer to Bermuda, uh-oh, it's a hurricane by Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon, and it is very close to Bermuda by 1 p.m. Monday as an 85 mile per hour category one hurricane. So it looks like it will stay away far away from the Gulf. It should stay far away from the east coast of the U.S. But Bermuda right in that cone of uncertainty. So we're certainly going to have to monitor things closely. All right, let's see what we have going on with the track, the future track with our Fox weather model. And you'll see that swirl. This is Tropical Storm Gabrielle starting to get close to the Puerto Rican islands and also the northern leeward islands, but it is going to stay to the north most likely as it approaches Bermuda by Tuesday and maybe rolling over Bermuda by Wednesday. But the good news is that it will stay away most likely from the U.S. That was our Fox weather model. Here's our GFS future cast also showing some decent development with the system, likely a hurricane by this weekend and by Wednesday and Tuesday of next week probably bringing some impacts, direct or indirect, not quite sure yet, but Bermuda definitely in that path of danger from Gabrielle. So we'll monitor that closely. Here's another tropical wave that we're watching. This one's still way out there in the Eastern Atlantic. It is moving west at 15 to 20 miles per hour. And there it is where you see the X. It is gonna bring heavy rain to the Cabo Verde Islands through Thursday and some slow development expected through next week. Just a low 10 to 20% chance that this tropical wave will turn into a tropical depression or tropical storm. 
All right, there's that tropical wave. Look at this monster coming off of the west coast of Africa. The National Hurricane Center thinking this could potentially turn into something that we need to watch. Maybe a tropical depression, tropical storm, or eventually a hurricane. So this is the area of concern, and we do have a low 20% chance that we could have a tropical system develop as that moves west over the next week. So besides Gabrielle, there are two other areas that we're monitoring. Nothing in the Gulf right now. However, you can see the water temps in the Gulf have been super balmy, super warm all season long, and they are still well into the 80s. So if we were to get anything moving into the Gulf or to develop along a front that maybe was stalled out in the Gulf, things could quickly get concerning because we have super warm water helping to fuel any potential system. So we're going to watch things closely for the rest of September. Of course, September, typically historically the busiest, most active month of hurricane season. October, there's still an above average chance for tropical systems to develop, especially across the eastern Gulf, western Atlantic, and the northwestern Caribbean. So right now, we're looking good for the Texas Gulf Coast. Nothing impacting us or expected to over the next week, but of course, keep checking back because you know this time of hurricane season, things can change quickly. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shea. Thanks for checking in with my tropical update. I'll be back same time, same place tomorrow. We'll be right back with more Texas Live and Local.